This method can help improve consistency in small animal behavioral testing by creating objective motor function metrics. The advantage of this technique is that unlike conventional methods, the results are quantified by a computer system which cuts down on human error, effort, and time. Demonstrating this procedure will be Marina Yu and Sydney Lindner, undergraduate researchers from the Capadona Lab. Begin filming and place the animal in the center of the grid, facing away from the researcher, to begin the grid test. Allow the animal to run freely for three minutes while being video recorded from above. Stop filming when the three-minute time period has ended and return the animal to its home cage. Clean the grid with a chlorine dioxide-based sterilant, taking care to fully dry the surfaces before testing. Next, for the latter test, place the animal in a clean temporary cage. Set the ladder apparatus up to span two cages, where the start cage is a clean cage and the end cage is the animal's living cage, an incentive to complete the run. Place the camera on a tripod, centered on the length of the ladder. Extend the tripod so the lens of the camera is at the height of the ladder rung. Position the camera so that the rungs are exactly aligned with the lens, as this is important for the slip detection algorithm in the BVAS code. Start the video recording and allow the animal to begin the run by holding their front paws over the first rung of the ladder. Allow the animal to move onto the ladder unassisted. Allow the animal to move from the start line to the finish line at their own pace while filming.